Every morning, Seth Munger takes his pill. Seth calls it his ADHD pill. The medication has become a way of life to help him focus, concentrate, and control himself, something that Seth's mother said was all but impossible for the eight-year-old who was recently diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. He was kicked out of every preschool, but um, when he got into second grade, they were going to kick him out. And so at that point, we decided to go to the doctors. Seth had no friends. He did so poorly in school. When he had two good days, his grandmother framed this certificate and hung it on her wall. Every day he would have an outbreak. If a toy was out of place or something, you would want to make sure that that's fixed because he was going to have a tantrum. The medication helped, but at a cost. When I seen him on the medication, he lost his little soul. He wasn't himself. He had no personality like we were taking away his childhood. Seth's family found the Drake Institute of Behavioral Medicine in Southern California. Here, Dr. David Velkoff treats kids like Seth with neurofeedback. He calls it physical therapy for the brain. When you do a brain mapping of the child, we determine, we can determine which area is out of balance that's causing the symptoms. The beeps you hear mean that Seth is producing a normal, healthy brainwave pattern. You're getting those neurons, those brain cells, to start firing more normally. So when you do it over and over and over, it, the brain begins to reorganize and readjust with how it functions. It's almost like readjusting a thermostat. How do you think it's helping you at school and at home? Well, I concentrate, really. After six weeks of therapy, Dr. Velkoff has lowered the dosage of Seth's medication by 25%, and they're not finished yet. Are you advocating that children not take medication? No, And no. only turn to this no, kind of no, no. feedback? No, but we want, to mi we want to minimize how many children have to be on these drugs, and those that are on the drugs, we want to be able to reduce the amount of medication that they're on. He got a little character to himself. He started wearing the hats and kids say hi to him, invite him places. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel really good for him. Seth has friends now. He made a turnaround in school, and at home, he and his mom can finally enjoy some quiet time. Thelma Gutierrez, CNN, Northridge, California.